What is going on, guys? Ooh, I'm pretty dark in here. So the reason I'm making this video... Oh, dang. Okay, I'm sorry. I just can't work a camera. One second. Okay, I'm pretty sure everything should be good now. The reason I'm making this video is because this Friday, I filmed my and uploaded my video yesterday, but tomorrow's Saturday, and I'm filming the vlog at the skate park, but when I get back at, like, three after five hours, I know I'm not going to feel like editing. I'm just going to want to, like, legit sit here, lay in my bed and whatever. So... I'm gonna be filming this little vlog, whatever, today. It's like the night. It's spring break. Oh, this is a sketchy angle. No, it's not gonna work. It's spring break, so I'm super pumped. Whatever. I was good on that, but I wanted to film a little vlog about my scooter, because it's sort of broken from what I know right now. I'm gonna try and dial it with you guys right now. But yeah, look what I printed, though. So my mom had like 100 Costco prints. I printed the sticker. I threw it up, and this is what happened, like the file I had. Which, it's like pretty good quality for like being super large. So, yeah, I also printed this t-shirt designs. Uh, I don't know where the other ones are, but like I got a bunch of photography. Oh, yeah, here they are. Eat, sleep, screw, repeat. But that's Moments. So that's the old one. Because I rebranded to Moments. If you didn't know, then this one. So that's pretty cool. But, yeah, like, I tr I've been trying to dial it, but it legit sounds like a bucket of bolts. I'll compare it for you guys. So, let's head down to the basement and let's start this video. And also, I'm doing this for something to do tomorrow morning before I go to the skate park. Okay, the screen's gonna go black right now. It's just gonna be the audio. But I wanna compare the sounds of two things. Okay, ready? Ready? You can't see anything. the other day but I'll do it again so we'll just start go through the whole com like I was about to say computer scooter just tighten everything up and I just want to try and find my problem to make it sound like this because like I tighten the wheels like I tighten the wheels as much as I can and it's already pretty loose again but this one isn't even the problem it seems so we'll be looking at the back and the brake and all that stuff so let's get into getting the compression tight First off, you're just gonna get a little, get your little Allen key, and not drop it like I continually do. Shove it in there. This one is a bad Allen key, but you sort of have to be stronger than me to do this. Ah, tighten them tight. This Allen key is so bent. As you can see now, clamps nice and loose. Just gonna, gonna stand. Bars should slide right off. Got my bars here. Got my clamp. Just got my clamp, and I've got the bottom of my scooter. Here inside, this is the compression. Everybody who has threaded, like I used to. That's where it looks like there's a little bolt inside. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take your Allen key on top of this bolt. There's a little thing. This is your compression. Then if you unscrew this, this little shim will come off. Then you can access your head, um, headset, top cap. Hold your bottom wheel. Just tighten it as much as you can. Mine is already super tight, as I said. So mine is super tight already, so that's good. But I mean, well, it's probably easier with the bars off to do everything. So I'll tighten the front wheel. Yeah, like it barely spins. I'll tighten the front wheel just to make sure that's all good. Get my Allen key. Some scooters you can use Allen keys on both sides. You only need one Allen key. Mine, you need pliers to hold the bolt in while you tighten it. This Allen key is actually really good. Cool. 50 50 grind. Uh. This one is bigger and better and is not completely bent. And it fits in my scooter. Just tighten that as much as you can. Okay, so this is completely tight. You can tell this because the wheel is not shaking and so got compression, front wheel tight. You can hear that. I'm dropping on the ground. The front 
makes no noise. But it's the back that's Mick rattles. So if you can see this here, that is pretty loose. Oh, that sound really hurts. Oh, what is that? So, my brake feels decently tight. It doesn't seem too bad. So we just need to work on my back wheel. Oh yeah, that's what it is. So I mean, it should sound really good. Hopefully, otherwise my scooter is broken. Oh, listen to this. Yes, I did it. So happy, because I'm going to the skate park and my scooter will not sound like a bucket of bolts. Which, there is a little rattling in the back because of my brake, but I've told you before, I can't find the Allen key for my brake. Like, I can't find a size that fits, I don't know. We have so many tools, I just can't find the right one. So I'm gonna throw the bars back on and get you guys a good drop test. Boys, listen to this though. Check the angle, check the angle. Ready, ready, ready? from my break, but I mean, all's good. Headset still feels really good though. Like sometimes I can tighten my compression too much. Well, like legit, I can have my scooter sitting like this and it won't turn like that. So that's sort of a little test I do is your compression's too tight when it's like this and you can like move it around and your scooter will not spin at all. But this is actually my perfect to my liking as I like it right now. So we should be good to go. Thanks for watching this video guys. I'm sorry it's not like a normal video of mine. I just wanted to get something quick out there. I will, might end up tightening this video. One, I fixed my scooter or two, how to dial my scooter. I'll decide when I'm editing um, how many views I'm gonna get depending which one and of course the one that I think will get more views. That sounds so good though. I'm not gonna ride this till tomorrow now. So see you guys all in the next video. Do you see how snazzy that was? Buttercup catch.